welcome to my channel and today's video. It's going to be a full makeup tutorial on what I'm wearing right now, which is a very purple and sparkly halo eye. I'm using some Makeup Geek cosmetic eyeshadows as well as one of the new Pixie metallic eyeshadows that are kind of a dupe for the Stila ones. So if you want to see this in action, then go ahead and keep watching. If you want to see how I got this look, go ahead and keep watching. But anyways, I'm going to head out and go ahead and run some errands. I'm still getting ready for the Dominican, which I'm going on... Tuesday, so I know I've said this in my other videos, but in case you haven't watched those, I just wanted to say I will be going on vacation for a week, coming up here soon, and that's the reason why I might not upload. I'm trying to pre-film and edit so that you guys can at least have something while I'm gone, but in case you don't say anything, that's why. I just wanted to, you know, give you the heads up. Other than that, I really don't have anything. I hope you enjoy the tutorial, and I will see you in the next one. Alright, so I'm starting off with a little bit of Makeup Geek Cupcake Eyeshadow on a Sonia Kashuk Tapered Blending Brush, and I'm applying that shade pretty much all over my crease. I started packing it on the outer crease and then brought it inward and just used little circular motions to start buffing it outwards to blow it out. Next I'm going in with Frappe, just another brown transition shade because I wanted to mix the two tones of the pink and the brown. So I'm layering this on top with the same brush, a little bit lower than Cupcake. And that's going to be the only two transition shades I go in with before cutting the crease with a little bit of Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And this is the Sonia Kashuk number one, oh, 110 brush. I like this brush a lot because it's nice and flat to be able to get the shape I'm going for. After I do the little halo cut crease, I'm going back in with Cupcake on a Vintage Cosmetics brush. It, it doesn't tell me like what kind it is. I got this in a BoxyCharm a while back. But I'm going to pack that on the outer and the inner corners to blend onto the concealer I have on my lid because I only want the halo or cut crease to be in the middle. I'm spotlighting the inner crease, cut crease situation with a little bit of shimmer shimmer on an M421 Morphe brush. And I'm packing that right on top of the concealer because I really want that sort of cut crease area to shine and stand out against my lid. But I do want to make sure everything is blended, so I go back in with Cupcake before taking a little bit of a darker shade called Vintage on a really tiny e.l.f. concealer brush. And I pack that on the outer and inner corner. And for whatever reason, I didn't like show the camera I was blending, so I wanted to include it here that I blended out that dark purple shade to make sure it was nice and what you see here, basically. I'm going to go in with the um, Chris Liquid Fairy Light Pixie Liquid Eyeshadow. This is in the shade Crystalline. And I basically just put that focusing on the top portion of the cut crease, and then I added some liner, which I didn't show on camera, I'm sorry. But... I went in with some Ardell Wispy Lashes, and I just kind of dropped those on top. I kind of wanted to show you, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but you know, I like to, here and there, show you how I like to put on my lashes. So I'll drop them on, and then tug on the outer and inner corner. After that, I'm jumping straight into my face makeup. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth Foundation, along with the MAC uh, Strobe Cream, the golden color. And then I just kind of like to apply that first to the brush before blending it out with a beauty blender. This, I find, is a lot better. It doesn't soak up the product as just dolloping a whole bunch of it onto my face or beauty blender would. But that's just my pers personal preference. You know, I, I recommend you trying out what works for you. To conceal my face, I'm using the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. And I think this is in the shade Ivory. Yeah. Again, just blending that out with a little bit of a tap tap <laughs> my beauty blender and after I conceal a face I went ahead and bronzed with the Fenty Beauty Match Sticks. This is in the shade Mocha and I just apply that to the pretty typical areas that you would bronze and I blend it out with a brush as opposed to a beauty blender because I feel like sponges can soak up this Fenty product rather than blend it out. So I actually will go with the beauty blender after I blend it underneath to make sure it's not super muddy and I didn't take it down too far. I'm going to set my under eyes with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I use the shade 5, which I think is the lightest if I'm not mistaken, just to brighten and set my under eyes. And I just kind of brush the excess around that little area. And then I'm going to highlight using the Fancy Beauty Crystal, what is this, Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal Duo with a little bit of a uh, Real Techniques setting brush. I really, really like this brush for setting, or for, not for setting, for highlighter. 
And then I'm going to blush my face using the L'Oreal True Match Blush in the shade Precious Peach and my Real Techniques Blush Brush. I'm sorry for my voice, you guys. I've got sort of a sore throat kind of going on, so it's not the cutest, but the show must go on. I'm just setting my face with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus, and I do like to go back in with my sponge after I apply any sort of setting spray to make sure the spray isn't just sitting on top of my peach fuzz on my face. I just really like to, you know, do that one last extra step. I'm finishing off the eyes with a little bit of mascara, not adding any shadow there today. And then for lips, I'm going to go ahead and use the Physician's Formula Healthy Lip Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Dose of Rose. I've talked about these lipsticks before on my channel a little bit, but I recently discovered them. I think they're new, and I'm really into them. They're very comfortable, they last a long time, and they're very like your your lips but better I don't know I, I can't really feel them that much when I wear them they're just very comfortable but that was literally the end of the look I know this is a really quick video but I just wanted to share with you this look <laughs> and I hope you enjoy it I will see you all in the next one bye